What's up, Moto Buddies? Mike here from Taco Moto Co. and Baja Taco Tours. Today I'm going to show you how to replace your stock paper element filter out with our new Taco Moto Co. Mother of All oil filters. This is our static magnetic filter product. And uh, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to remove the stock bolts here that, to put the, that hold the stock cover on. You can remove the filter in all kinds of different methods. Uh, Rainbird makes this little sprinkler tool. This is for removing sprinkler heads. That does a good job of getting in there, grabbing it, and pulling it out. Another method is to use some inside set pin, C-clip pin pliers. The same idea, just grab it on the outside. You could also use like some needle nose that you would just expand out to grab it. Or you can use my preferred method, which is just my little barbarian trick. I just take a screwdriver, get it, punch it into the filter, grab it, and pull it out like that. Once your filter's out, we need to recover this little grommet down here on the bottom. So just take a flat blade screwdriver and just catch it on the bottom and pull it up and out. And that gets transferred into the body of the new oil filter that just goes in just like that clean that thing off and this will fit down into the cavity in the engine case make sure that you align it and press it down in there make sure the grommet seats over the outlet port for the oil once that's down inside then we're going to use the outer adapter this little ring right here has a mark on it notice that uh, we've got this little sharpie marker um, mark on here and so this signifies that that is the bottom so this goes down no mark on the top I also like to uh, visually verify that the o-ring is there and then just take a little engine oil and you can add some some engine oil to the to the uh, o-ring there also make sure that the case itself doesn't have any little boogers or debris on there slide that thing in OEM bolts go back on Set your torque wrench to six newton meters. That's about 53 inch pounds. Do not over tighten and strip these bolts. Be very careful about that. Since this is the first oil change with the new filter and the, uh, the cavity here is empty, there's no oil inside of it, not a bad idea to just fill the cavity up with some fresh oil. Last step is to take your magnetic rod filter. Make sure that it's clean as it's been rolling around on the bench here. It's picked up a little bits and pieces of debris. You also may notice that there's a little red Loctite that's just sort of a residue from uh, the installation of the magnet into the outer cap. You can clean that off if you like. And once you're satisfied with all of that, I like to put a little bit of o uh, o oil on the O-ring here. Um, and then this thing can just drop in and tighten up. Now, when you tighten this up, you just want to get it good and snug. It'll stop when the machine, uh, when the machining surfaces bottom out. You'll know that you're good and tight when the bolt, the machining of the top surfaces of the bolt point up and down. Um, and that's sort of like a, a visual indication that you've got it to the, to the stopping point. And uh, just check for everything. Make sure that you're all good. You can reinstall your skid plate, finish your oil change, and you are done. If you're, if you're doing an oil change, then the procedure is super simple. All this is already installed. You've got the bike lead over, or you can do it vertically. Some oil may come out if you're up on the side stand, but you'll just pull this out. And once that's removed, this will be coated with all of the, the trapped and captured debris um, on the filter. And then to, to clean the filter, you just wipe it off with the rag, get all that stuff cleaned off, and then once that's done, you can drop it back in and do the same tightening procedure like we showed you just a second ago. So thank you for buying the Takamoto Co. Mother of All oil filters.
let us know in the comments if you have any questions or, or uh, uh, suggestions about anything that we're doing. Um, you can always reach us on the socials, text us anytime, email us anytime. Thank you for using our products and watching our channel. Like, subscribe, go out and get some adventure.